Hi guys and welcome back to episode 36 of the Raid series. Now in the previous episode we went into factory with the SVD and we just smashed through that until we got all the SVD kills we needed to get that Epsilon container. As well as that, uh, we finish off the raid with uh, a bit of a scav run, just get a little bit of an extra bit of cash up. And then during the time between me going to bed and getting up and, and filming this next episode, I started the upgrade for the hideout for the Bitcoin farm. Now, um, I'm going to go through that in a second. So uh, yeah, without further ado, let's crack straight into it. All right, so I'm going to show you um, what's going on with the Bitcoin farm. So we got Intelligence Center level two, which means our uh, our quest reward and insurance time and all the scav time is all been reduced. However, um, the Bitcoin farm is now upgrading. It was about, I think it was about 30, 30 something hours it said to upgrade it. So uh, I did it when I first woke up. So that was about 3.30 in the morning. So yeah, about 36 hours. Um, I think it is or oh, some shit like that. Anyway, um, we've got 16 hours to go. To get these items though, it sent us pretty poor. Not gonna lie, we're down to 5,000 rupees. But we do have a bit of gear and uh, we do have now a beautiful Epsilon container so we can make some bulk cash as we're going along. Um, so the objective would be is to make as much money as possible. And I'm gonna try and keep it as interesting as possible as we're going. Cause I got a little bit of feedback from you guys. Um, you liked this format of the PVP and the and the tasking and the, and the money making side. But they said, after, most people said after about five episodes of making money, you're ready to go see me do some other stuff. So, uh, I will try and mix it up. I might try and put a little bit of tasking in there as well. Um, and, and then that way it might be a little bit more interesting. And I'll try and mix up which map I go for that questing and that, uh, and that money making as well. So, hopefully that will be helpful. But what we need to do is actually get a little bit of money up our sleeve straight away. Uh, and the best way we're going to do that is doing our scav runs. And I think I'll do another interchange scav run. Or could we go through just tasks um, <clears throat> overall just to see what's been going on? I think... There is something I want to show you guys. It's actually a video I'm working on that uh, I'm going to be filming uh, probably today or tomorrow. Um, so with our traders, we've got money spent pretty much on all of them, everyone except for Skia. Uh, we need to get some money spent on Peacekeeper. Mechanic's good. I think Ragman's good. But when it comes to Jaeger, we're pretty trash. Um, I want to show an example. What I might do... <clears throat> let's get rid of these old ones. I'm just going to use this as, a, as our baseline. 126k. We've got a few. Like, we don't re really need that many. All right. Now, um, Jaeger, 1.2 million. We want to get some money up on him. Cyclops. Uh, I was looking at him before. So, we bought them for 51 and a half ish. And we're going to sell them for 51. All right. And then we're going to go back here. We're losing about one to 2K per sale, but as you're about to see, we'll do dumb, another one. For our money spent for Jaeger, we're all well on the good. Now we need to get this up to uh, 33, so when we get to the next level, um, which is about 54,000 XP away, <clears throat> we can get Jaeger level three started, but Sorry, level, go to level four. So the way I want to do that is um, we'll probably do the exact same thing. We'll get a little bit of cash flow up first, then I'll get that extra money spent. But I'm making a video. It's in the process of getting done now um, and or getting all the research done now. And then we'll be able to get Jaeger level four. The main reason I wanted to do that was uh, in the hideout, there's a couple of things like this one needed Jaeger level three. But now we've got that done. Uh, when we get the money together, to buy five of these, which I can do now technically. One, two, three, four. Um, and then I just need to get another 125k and then we've got the water collector level 3 started so just that kind of stuff look we'll just sell another ult and just so we can get it started <clears throat> um, I thought I'd just show that there little sneak peek uh, 
you probably actually would have seen the video by now. But you <laughs> try and take advantage of it before the items. I'm, I'm trying to get a bit of a list together so you guys can actually see um, how to do it and, and just give you more information on being able to do it. So um, as besides that, though, <clears throat> holy crap, we can actually get that done pretty much straight away. Filter and that. Is it US dollars? How far away are we? Or how much US dollars do we have? We've got 11k. I know we're not really far through these quests yet. But some of them do give a bit of US dollars. We've got this one here. Sorry about my dog barking in the background. Alright, so what we'll do is we'll get um we'll get our stuff together. And we'll probably I want to mix it up a little bit. I kind of want to like be like, hey, let's do something a bit different. I know we've got an SVD, but let's go to the OPSKS that we've got. Um, I don't really like this side on it. So let's see if we can get like a Valde. Or something a bit different. Maybe a Voodoo. I don't know if we've got any sitting around. Uh, oh, here we go. Do, 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 do. There's the Voodoo. Oh, it's not going to let's put, this on, put it on there. You know what? Stuff it. We'll take this. Make it, make it a bit different. Got two mags. And what I want to do is I actually want to go, I think, shoreline. And we'll do hidden stashes and then see if we can get some long-range headshots at the same time too. I think that's going to be the way, way we can do it for a bit of fun. Um, we don't need that. We can take that. Bend to that. Pretty much done. That's good for that. And... Do we have any extra ammo? Hmm, got a little bit of M61 there. Now, with the shoreline, I think I'll take the keys. Just in case, for some reason, we bumped it, bump into the resort. But let's go see if we can get um, shoreline done. we the UAVs to pick up as well if we walk past it. I think we still got Lend Lease. Yeah, we still got a Lend Lease motor. Which one's motor 2? I'll have to check the wiki for that. Uh, and we've got two, two of these we can take. So that's Pier in the Health Resort. Um, those quests there will give us money too. Oh, and if we get the photo album, we get the docs case too. So if we can pop into the resort, that'd be sick. But it's not, not the uh, what we have to do kind of thing. Oh, this is making me tempted though. Mm. All right, all right, all right. We're doing this. We're doing this. Do we have any spare mags for it? Oh, we're going to buy some. Cool. And I'll take that with me. One in there. And then we need two markers. We can afford them. Just. We put them down there. So we'll go into shoreline. We're going to um, do the hidden stashes, go around the edge and try and make some money that way. We'll check for some keys while we're also there. And then also um, we'll try and get some of these other, let's call them fringe tasks done at the same time. And then that way it will give us a bit of money that way as well. So Instead of just running straight through that I, I do want to do an episode where we just charge um reserve and i just want to do a heap of reserve runs to try and make a heap of money that way too so i think that would be kind of like my old money run i just want to give it a go just see how we can if we can make it work or not and uh i'm, I'm kind of tempted to see if we can pull that off and see if it works so um yeah two markings and a motor Alright, cool. So I think we're good there. Let's get in. See how we go. Shoreline, daytime. Insurance wise, well we can't we have 300 rubles. Actually, no, 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 no. Scav run first. Scav run first. Alright, we've got to be smart about this. Because we're so poor, we need to do our scav runs first. So we're geared and ready to go. But do a cheeky scav run. Scav run on um, 
Let's just do a factory for a quick one. Let's go. All right, we're in to a factory run. Oh, gosh. Let's just get out. Oh, it's still very early. I think he's at the top. He's out, out there. I don't know where... Oh, there's a scav there. There's two scavs here. Nice looking AK. Really? I just got just ran in the corner and just destroyed our thorax, so... Ouch. Alright, we're just gonna go straight into the factory, uh, straight into the shoreline run. We're gonna mess about. It's, we're all ready to go anyway, so let's do it. Let's go! Loading. Um... Draw line. Let's go. Right, so priority will be hidden stashes with some, a sprinkle of questing on the side. Um, interesting. If we go on top of here, if we had, if we had the MDR right now, my lord. Does make it easy though. Normally, you can see that tower quite clearly. Keeping an eye out for Shooter Born in Heaven. And all I've realized right now is my monitor is really dirty. I kind of want to go resort at the same time. I don't like the idea of sitting up here and sniping at people. The very, very slow velocity round. Alright, we need to make money. Let's make some money. Oh. 
<laughs> you be mad. What is this monstrosity? What is this monstrosity? Alright, we'll use this to kill players. Use the uh, VPO to get the scab kills done. Knuckles are worth a little bit. Make a bit of mm, Jesus. Who's this dude? Surely he's on the other side. He's in that line there. Has to be on the other side of the water. You don't mean to jump them by the way. Don't honestly know how anyone could use this site ever, but we're making do with what we've been given. I forgot to go to the UAV. And the Lendleys. That's like down there now. How can I not see that? Don't understand how I can't see him.
my arm's twitching. I don't know what's doing that. Okay, so I think he's down by the pier now. Someone is at least. I haven't heard the M700 shoot again. The fact that there's been no follow-up sh follow shot makes me feel like he's already dead. Now, I like going up on this hill over here to do the shooter born in heaven quest, so that's why I'm going up here now. Scav down the end. You might have died down there. The scav definitely shot at someone. Come on by the boat. I reckon he died down there. Not out by the pier. Alright. Let's keep moving forward. Just keep moving forward. The guy dead, dead down the end. Key spawn in the back of the car. Nope. The eight. Was he shooting at me then? I think he was. Alright, you're in the book. Do I hear a forward burst from the left then? They're tripping.
Really sticky spot to be. Just sitting. He's dead. I did not shoot him. He's either inside here. What's going on? I don't know what's going on. This is tripping me out. I think I've got a couple of leg shots in, by the way. I've got one. back yeah. all right let's go psmo bpmo can't complain Unfortunately, that's just PS. Mm, cowboy hats don't really sell for much, unfortunately. Hmm, this guy died to the scav. trying to do level up his sniper skills it was bolt like he wasn't doing anything crazy with it no cool side on it or anything like that i don't know maybe he's having a bit of fun <clears throat> now it's up to us if we want to turn right here I think we should actually. I think we should turn right and head towards the scabs along the coast bit, the shoreline. And then um, we'll go back up to the uh, UAV and stuff. We do hidden stashes along the way too. Oh no, that's a player. I need a little bit more stamina. Just want to get into a tree. Might have been a scab, but I'm pretty sure it was a, a player. Definitely saw something then.
Seems the scams are heckling him. I don't even know where to start with this site, to be honest. I probably should take my time then. I don't think he knew where I was. Alright, scab on the road. Then we get this leg shot. I'm going to move a little tiny bit closer first. I don't know if that was low enough. Fine enough, I mean. Yep, that's that done. Headshot. A little bit high. Once you get the leg shots done, the rest of it's easy. One. Now, I'm not too worried about that player behind me. If he ran back across the waterway, he's going to be dealing with the scams and stuff. And if he goes up the power station, it's a long flank. I'm not too worried about all that. Um, none of that's really worth that much, unfortunately. We're putting us in the realms of, like, slightly overweight... A quick look for one more scav. I think this gun's like extremely heavy or something. I think we're gonna have to get rid of that. What if, uh, got the UAV coming up. APB. It's got a flashlight on it. And we do need to be a little bit careful of players that will start be starting to head towards. Um, the road to customs extract. We've been in on it now a little bit. Boom. If we really want to, we could head up to the resort on the way through. Go to... Um... Mark the uh, the last of the stretcher bits, and also get the nostalgia item from 303.
trying to figure out how I want to do this questing bit. I'm going to keep looking for items as we run. Unfortunately, I couldn't insure stuff. So the idea would have been to insure stuff and then re as I find better stuff or other stuff, replace it. Like, could have quite easily thrown the VPO once we uh, got the quest done, for example. Head up to the resort mostly because I want to get the uh, the uh, the marker down. There was a lot of shooting at the resort too, so we might be able to get some slops. Making sure I'm on full auto. This is like primary place that someone's going to jump down the mountain on the side here or run down this road. Um, after the finish of looting, so. We just gotta take a little bit slower, play a little bit safer. Really not sure about this site. So we'll probably go to the marker, then straight over to 303. Heaps of shots over there. Those windows are all blown out. Probably grenades going off there. All right, I'm just going to try and run to get this done. On the other side. 15 seconds of fucking th stress. Grab the knuckle. I'm going to run straight across here. Okay, this is not open yet. Check for a blue card. No blue card. Really? Shooting at me? It's kind of a good thing that he shot at me at the same time. It's not. I want a force being open. It's good because then we know he's not activating on other people, which means less likely that players still here. Six has been looted, so three or one will be of, of being looted as well. Coming here for our quest item. All right, quick check of quests. Make sure I'm not missing any. Got the other UAV to do on the way out. And if we can get a headshot, we will. Three or one's been looted. Oh my god. 
excited so I be huge. We just done that from the start. Didn't want those 30 rounds. They're weighing us down anyway. All been looted. These doors don't start open. Push we snipe the scav is not up. Green smoke is though. Is that a scav there? It is. Sweet. That's that quest done. Now we're going to go straight to the other UAV and then we're going to get out. Just up ahead. All right. And we are distracting. That was big. Woo. We did the markings. We did the, the bolt actions. We did the lend lease. We did the UAVs. And we did the album. Big, big win. Um... And we also scared a player or two. Um, so let me think about that. Pathing. We we tried to sit in the shooter board in heaven spot because of the fog made it a little bit difficult. Then we headed towards power station to get the uh board action kills there. On the way to power station, we ran into a player, smacked him in the thorax, killed him, headed down towards uh the pier because we could hear you shooting down there. I thought it was an M700, it was an SVD. Uh the guy died to a scav, so we just looted up and scavenged the rest of the stuff there. Then after that, we headed um back to the UAV. And the lead, lend lease item bumped into a player, took some shots at him. He ran off. We moved on. Um, and then we moved around the map up to the resort. Got the items we needed from the resort. Headed out via the UAV and then the rock passage. Really solid run. Now, our la longest range kill was 101 meter headshot. But I want to see if we had a longer hit. 122. We hit that player on the road. It was 122 away. So we scared that player from hitting him and he ran off. So happy with that. Maybe if we aimed a little bit higher, we probably would have got him. So um, 4,200 XP, but that's not the big deal from that. The big deal is we're just handing in like five quests. I think it's about five, uh, which is going to, the quest rewards alone is going to give us heaps. But if we sell that docs case, which I think we should, we've got three already. Uh, if we sell that docs case, that will be four to 500 K just there. And then just the cash rewards as well will be nice. Uh, the UAV gives us some dollars. Um, yeah, just some all around good stuff. So uh, let's start with wrap up. Make sure we're not missing anything there. Therapist. Cool. Let's gear up. And hand in the motor. And this gives us $4,000 and 20,000 XP. Then we hand 
in uh, rigged game. This one gives us 100,000 rubles, two DVLs, and 13,000. We go to Peacekeeper. We hand it, we get Lend Lease Part 2. Now, these need to be found in Raid, the Vertex and Coftums. The Coftums we can find on uh, Reserve, not too not too big a deal, but the Vertexes can be quite frustrating. We hand in both of these. This is another $1,000. We get Humanitarian Supplies. Now, this one is... It's not hard. This is going to be a little bit frustrating. The marking's easy. The scav kills with the UN armor on is, is fine. Uh, and I think we can just buy the MREs. Peacekeeping mission we don't need to do for the uh, cabin container. Over to mechanic. We still need to find that graphics card. Ragman, nothing new there. Need to keep an eye out for that 6B43. Taco of shooter is now complete. This is part three, which we can do on factory if we want. Bit of fun. Um, we can hand in this, which gives us some more rubles, another shoreline key, and a docks case. We're only 12 scavs away from finishing that, and if we want to go woods, we can do that quest too. Cool. I'm just going to claim it all. And then sort it from there. We got a lot of dollars from that. We got five thousand dollars. Now that can go in our shoreline one there. I think we'll sell this. Four sixty nine. Easy money there. DVLs we can sell them too. So this was more of like an indirect way of making money, but it's still working out fine in the end. Um, something I've, I've wanted to do with this, and I can't I haven't done it yet, is I want to hit this. Bam. Now we've sorted that out a little bit. We can actually use this to... Uh, well, we want to keep some of these, like the wipers, the bleach, and the propane need for a peacekeeper quest, and the corrugator hoses. So that needs to be held on to for that. Um, and we need, I think, one more WD-40. I think it's one or two. Definitely one, possibly two. We also need one more alkali, so uh, for quest. Screw nuts, so we can sell them. Nippers, we can sell them. Blue tape, we can sell. And the drill, we can sell for now. And I think we're done with screws as well. Nails. Probably should put them up for sale while we can. 18 with lots of sevens. Oh, one of them's not found in raid. Nine, one, two, three. Houses. Screws. Seven, one, two, three. Nippers. And. Drill. Cool. Uh, that sells for a bit. Use the contact. We can vendor that, vendor that, and vendor that. Knackle. Another one. Uh, that'll be vendor for there. BSM will use. Pop that up. Vendor that. Don't know what I'm going to do about this. The the VPO we can hold on to for now. Nice that these these are uh, quite expensive at the moment. Jeez, the rounds are so cheap. Is it just the launcher that's expensive? Or is it just one particular round that's worth heaps?
Cool. So, uh, Jaeger. Go to him. Mechanic. Got to sneeze. <coughs> Sorry. And let's see. After getting all these. One million. So what we can do again, uh, we need to get 800k spent. So we can do what I did before. Do Cyclones. Install. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Uh, I think it ends milk was selling pretty much for the same price as well. So that's 15. 15, two. Yeah, so that's pretty close as well. We could probably like go to about there, I think. There's a few things that you can do it with. Oh, this profit. That was profit right there. I need to do the TP. Both of these are profit. Go one more. And a little bit more. That'll get us over the line. Now we have Jaeger level four. The main thing we want from Jaeger four is the AP20 ammo. This one right here, these bad boys. But it's not going to hurt being able to buy some of these other items. Cool. Um, let's see. Now, for the next bit. How are we going for time? Ooh. Starting to get to the pointy end. We could do a scav run real quick. It's a cheeky little scav run. Might sell this rig. A bit more space. And just chuck that there for now. For the scav run. And we'll see how we go. So we'll do a factory scav run. Try and grab some money and get out. Right. Ooh, Billy. Come on, let me work. Five, six. Damn. Damn. I think we've got office window. We do. How do we want to tackle this? Come on, this thing. That's just a normal scav, so we're going to push up. You know we need respirators? Out of there, you. You be that cheeky with me. What have you got? Oh, nice little run. All right. Um. Money's always good, 45k. I'm just going to dump this like this, initially at least. 
feel like we need the respirator for a quest. Could be wrong. All right, happy days there. I hope I'm not wrong. I feel like I'm right. Yeah. Um, Pathic for that was pretty straightforward. We spawned in. I just did a little bit of a safety loop around just to clear around the edges before I went straight up to the office window. I don't really need to explain much for that one. Um, you should start learning how the processes of how I progress through the map. Hopefully. Hopefully I'm teaching you something. Right. Do we need that respirator? Maybe we finished it. It was like vitamins part two. We did. All right, cool. Um, all right, rag band. We might, these might be worth something actually. They are. One, two, three. I don't think respirator is worth much though. Eh. So these are going to be worth a little bit more because of decontamination service. But that's about it. Uh, these Vepa Hunters probably could sell them for more on the flea. Particularly the 10 round mags. I wonder what the 10 round mags sell for. The 10k a pop. Unload. Unload. We actually got a few of them. Nine, one, two, three. And these with the sites. So I'm just going to be lazy with the site on. Oh, I should take the sites off. Twenty nine, seven, seven. Kind of curious to see how much these sell for. They're actually not a bad slot to use. I like the OKP7s. And then for the rest of this, I'm just going to put all this and just vendor it. that right now that can go away i don't want to keep using this site this is ridiculous everything but that site i'd rather use a hammer and um, i think she's good pretty happy now before we finish up is there anything extra we want to do on the hot out? Have a quick look. Uh, I don't think do we need memory level eight. I think it's going to be a little while to get memory eight, which sucks. But air filtering unit. It, it, it's fine to do. The, the issue I have with us putting the filters in is I need to be, like, if I just put the filter in for around an hour, it's not worth it. But if I'm doing it for, like, um, if we were, as a, if I was going to film, like, five episodes in a row or three episodes in a row, probably three, I think it'd be worth it. So, we could start doing scav runs, but I just don't feel like it, it's necessary right now. If I was going to do anything, I'd want to upgrade the water collector. 
and potentially Intel Center level three. Um, which I think we might just do because the vertexes shouldn't be too expensive. They're not too bad. These will be fine. One, two, three. Two of these will be about 80k, yep. And then four of these, but we can pop. Refresh real quick. Cool, and now we can upgrade this. In 24 hours time, we'll have scav cooldown and um, less flea market commission. So what's the commission at the moment? Oh, okay, so that's gonna make actually more profit for us. Now the, oh, the major thing that we actually want though is the ability to, to make vertexes. What's the one we need for the quest at the moment? Vertexes and coftums. All right, so we're going to craft vertexes first. Which is this one. We've already got the caps. We need two CPUs. What the fuck? Why are these 90k a pop right now? That's insane. 99,000 each. And two of these. And the fuel on. And then she's gone. Um, let's see. The fact that that's going to take so long. We do have plenty of fuel right now. Um, I wonder if this is found in raid. It is. So an empty one you can also sell for... Probably sell that for 114. At least you get a bit of money back on that fuel can. Right. Um, I think that's it. We do need to keep an eye on uh, resets for fuel from Jaeger. Oh, there's more up, up for sale now. That's all right. Um, maybe we should just buy one now. And then we don't have to worry about it. You know, we've got fuel going for a while. Um, all right. And that is pretty much it. The next stash upgrade is eight and a half million. I'm not going to really con be concerned about that because until we run out of like storage space from the stuff we actually got here. Okay, but I think we're good. We're, we're fairly good for space. We can manage quite well with this. Um, like it's not over the top. We've got enough room to hold some guns, some gear and stuff. We've got quest items we can hold on to. The one item we really do need to figure out what we're going to do about is a 6B43. And get rid of that and put this down to 50. 6B43. We need to somehow figure out how to get one, our hands on one of these. Either we're going to have to sit there and watch for fence. I could do it. it. Like some people can get it within five minutes. Sometimes it takes like half an hour. But you literally just sit here and wait for one to go up on fence. The other option is we actually um, wait for Ragman. I think level four. It's just such a long time to wait. But what you can do is you get you get a good one like this. I'll probably could just sell sells them now. All right, we get a good one like this. We go into factory, we try and kill the scavs and players and that. And what you do is you leave it so there's a scav left, and then you let the scav shoot you until the armor's gone. That's generally the easiest way of getting it, and we could do that eight times and still come out ahead so i think that'll be the the method most likely um or we just keep watching for uh, for fence but as for this episode that is it um hopefully you guys enjoyed it it was it was a money making episode which we spent a fair bit of money but we actually got a, a fair bit done and uh yeah it's a bit of fun i don't know what else to say uh hopefully you guys enjoyed it you guys should know the drill by now smash the share like button comment for the youtube algorithm and appreciate all the uh support you guys give 
subscribe the notification bell to keep up to date for the latest episodes. Hope you had a safe and wonderful weekend and uh, excited for another week of making moolah in Tarkov. Um, but yeah, lastly, guys, I'll see you next time.